this this came to me because there was somebody that put a post on our YouTube channel um, that said, you know, I'm just so frustrated of not being able to work and you know being out of work. I'm like I've lost my way. Um, and what I've learned from people that have, um, in my opinion, I've learned a lot in the time that I've done this work from other individuals that yes, uh, they're receiving disability benefits, but they're doing great. They're doing the best they can. And there's some key things that I have learned that people do that give them a sense of purpose. So I put together this list of items and let's see if there's anything that you have to add to it. Uh, I find that a lot of people volunteer and it may be at their church. I have referred people to centers for independent living to do volunteer work because most of the centers are run um, by benefits of those that are receiving benefits and they do have paid positions there. Um, I've met several people that have um, taken upon themselves to be in like a um, in a call process where they're calling people that might be elderly or family or friends just to keep in touch with them, give them a positive message. Um, you know, they look forward to having a phone call. So volunteering. Of course, some people work and they go back to work, um, you know, a traditional job or starting a business. And then um, hobbies, uh, people knit, garden, reading is big. So on those first three, are there, are there any points that you can add on to the volunteer work or hobby uh, aspects of what can give people a sense of purpose? Oh, there's one that uh, is very good. It's the adult daycare centers. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They have plenty of activities for older individuals. Okay. So, for example, in this town, they call it a senior center. Would it be? It could be, yeah, a senior, a senior uh, center. And the one that I used to volunteer at was the adult daycare center. They have exercise classes, yoga, um, yes. computer classes, all of those. Great idea. Great idea. Okay. And then they nice. have a section where the, where the people who need attention, um, they drop their in other older individuals <laughs> off who need the attention. So the okay. nurses take care of them, but other individuals in the neighborhood can come and do all the other activities. All right. And those are, there's no charge for those. Is that no, right? they're free, free membership. Yep. 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 I should know that. My mom goes to the one here and loves it. All right. Great. Also, if they're driving, a lot of them need drivers to get to appointments and things like that as well. Um, are, you can... are you suggesting that they, they can volunteer as a driver? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. My big concern with this is to make sure they understand, you know, what substantial gainful activity is. Yeah. I get, I get a little worried with volunteering too much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have not known anybody to be pressed on volunteering, um, but it is the law, right? 20 hours or more um, a week is over the limit. So that is good to know. Plus I've seen decisions where they've actually pointed to people doing their hobbies as a reason why they're being denied because they're able to do to their do hobby. Right. So. Right. Yeah. Especially if their hobby is something that is like skydiving. It's a bit extreme. <laughs> huh? um, yeah. 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 Um, one of the other key features is uh, for those that are Medicare eligible is using their free gym membership. Um, you can, a lot of people have Medicare Advantage plans with these features, and they're right. not aware of how to use them effectively. And they can go for water therapy or swimming at one location and a stretching and strength and flexibility class at another. And you don't need to go lift weights or run on a track. And there's a lot of different 
ways that you can leverage uh, those. So, um, yeah, so I just can think of two members right now that one, there's a, one has access to a lazy river in one of the gyms and she's there three days a week floating in the lazy river. Um, so. uh, if you've been on the phone with members, I don't know about you, but I know a lot of um, our members seem to have their grandkids in the house um, that they're taking care of. And um, I would expect that that's fulfilling to be able to give back and, and do that. So, um, well, I would love that if I had grandkids. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. A few others, uh, learn a skill, keep growing, moving forward. Um, you know, we all have a limited amount of time and in due respect, of course, you likely, if you're receiving disability benefits, have less um, than the able-bodied person, but uh, there's still, I expect you time to, to learn something and that could be taking a class. There's, like you said, Daphne, at the senior centers, there's access to um, classes that you can take there, but there's other resources um, that are available. You can even go through a traditional uh, voc rehab and take college courses yeah. or other advanced placement courses and learn mm -hmm. uh, stuff for, for low to no cost. Yeah, yeah. they have them at community <clears throat> as well. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I was getting ready to say that um, there's a lot of community colleges that will um, give out full ride scholarships the people that are disabled as well. Wow. Two-year scholarships, yep, AAS scholarships, especially um, here here in North Carolina, they have two-year scholarships for people that are uh, disabled. Is that the only criteria, Dimitri? You just need to be... Oh, well, it's up under the... Uh, let's see, let me get it right. Unemployed, underemployed. <clears throat> dislocated and disabled person that okay all right good to know yeah yeah most of them also have what they have you can audit classes for free you don't get college credit but you can take the class and it's free yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. um i was going to add on here too that uh mentoring mentoring kids is a good uh thing for elderly to do especially troubled kids, kids that don't have parents, those types of things. Would that be through like a big brother program? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. These are good ideas. Yeah. The last one is probably controversial, but if you want to make like a whole day fly by and feel like you've done nothing and maybe learn a little, then download TikTok and start watching videos. <laughs> <laughs> This is Brian Terry, and if you're interested in getting help to get and or maximize your disability benefits for free, come join us as a member at thedisabilitydigest.com. You'll get immediate access to success stories from our members, other industry experts, all to help you weave through the maze of disability-related issues. And we're free because we're like a radio or a TV station where we have ads and sponsors that allow us to fund our work and deliver a membership free to you. So come on over and join us. We look forward to helping you get and or maximize your benefits.